great deal of maintenance work is required in the bill of this size. Brayton supports and bars for the cages are repaired in the machine shop. While the carpenter shop mends fences, feed boxes, purchase for cages and other essential equipment. The job of feeding 3,000 animals each day is a complicated one and requires careful planning. All must be fed on time and at regular intervals. Over 150 different kinds of food is served during the year. It's feeding time on the kangaroo house. Mineral, salt, and hot liver oil is added to the kangaroo's meat. Luckily, the kangaroo doesn't know he's getting his medicine in this. It's only meal of the day. The Australian kangaroo is the slowest eater of all the animals, and sometimes it takes four hours to eat the trade for chopped vegetables. Mrs. Kangaroo hides timidly in a corner. Her main concern is Jim. Believe it or not, at birth, a baby kangaroo is less than one inch in length. Several months of that before Junior peeks from his safe hiding place. Sometimes, when animals are born in the zoo, the mother is unable to feed them. Not long ago, three tiger cubs were threatened with starvation. The lion housekeeper's wife volunteered to take the cubs into her home and is careful. The cub needed as much attention as incubator babies. For several weeks, she bottled at them until it was certain they would survive. Then they began to get a little too active around the house, so back to the zoo they went. The tiger's cage is very popular with the public. The pups fought the mother still looks after them, but it's obvious that the youngsters are getting a little up. Today the pups weigh some 300 rugged pounds. 